Hello, we're at 3 Universe. We have a match here between two super uber awesome epic pros. Oh my god, look, this guy's pro in his name. Yeah, Yui. Playing on the right side of Temple Prime. And on the left side, we have Pickle Killer. And you might know him better as C9Q9MD. The MD. Obviously, some medical term because C C C C C nine Q nine. It's it's. He's a robot. He's actually a, a robot. Now we see an un really unorthodox looking opening right now, coming from C nine and from Yui San. We have uh, double barracks. Maybe he's gonna go for a push. Maybe he's just doing double barracks. Doesn't look like he's going to be going for both oils as he has them both in one direction. Um. Uh. uh I. I. Uh. Well, it looks like CQ9 is. CQ. I can't, I can't even figure it out. Why CQ9? Why? I don't know why. C, C9. Pickle Killer! He's Pickle Killer in this match. He's being called Pickle Killer. Screw his real name. Uh, nail the yard because he didn't scout this. Uh, yeah. Uh, what well, he sold them. Uh, um, uh, uh, just. Did he even. He, I don't even. What is. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what that is. Uh, no. The uh, what? What? Oh! <laughs> it all makes sense now. No, no. <laughs> it all makes sense that there is no sense happening in this match. Except for the fact that Yui built the third barracks just so he could build an engineer. That was like the only purpose. And when he sold it, he got three peacekeepers. Great! That was a great move, man. It's like. Not necessary, really. It really isn't. You could have just kept one barracks and built an engineer. You could have, you know, it was not necessary. The three, the three barracks, it didn't, it didn't have an actual use. Uh, this is not looking good for C9. He is losing, like, his base. Yeah, he's losing his base. Something a little strange going on here as we see the second MCV is deployed. Getting ready to prepare some turrets. I, experiment with, I experimented with such builds myself back in the day, but I must say, mine was, it was much more, uh, what do you call it, uh, efficient. I didn't lose my base at the start. God. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I like how we didn't place this, like, anywhere close to the, like, I don't know, could have placed it closer. But, you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna kill the refinery anyways. Who cares? Who freaky cares? Uh, yes, as I was saying, I experimented with such builds myself. Uh, my variation of it included uh, javelins and riptides and doing some sort of MCV push with riptides. Uh, but his build is a very blind, very love based. But then again, it's, it's fast second MCV, it's gonna be luck lucky regardless. <laughs> But Yui has a nice advantage here, he's getting both refineries up, his opponent only has this. Very nice move by uh, C9 here, and by C9, I mean Pickle Killer. The green ally is on the left side of Infinity Isle. Also, no as OP. Um. Uh. Yeah! Man, frickin' doesn't look like Pickle, kill pickle Killer's in a good spot, and he's gotten himself... In I'm not even gonna. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna. I'm not going there. I'm not. I'm. I'm not going there. I'm not. He's uh, not. He's not. <laughs> uh, selling the barracks just to make sure all these javelins can't kill that javelin or or the turret. Oh wait, no. He's actually gonna be going to the garrison. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, he, I mean, he could have, he could have, he could have kept that peacekeeper, he could, he could have, 
he could have, but he but he didn't. I'm liking the double turret here. I mean, very impressive. <laughs> Allied ingenuity at its finest. We see two MCVs on the map here. You, you know, odds position here is he has no idea what to do. His opponent can build and move at the same time. Uh, looks like it's gonna. Is, oh yeah, freaking heroic javelins. Outranged turrets. Apparently, <laughs> I guess not. Uh, I must have. He must have made a mistake. You know, because he was outranging this one, but he wasn't. He was still in range of this one. Uh, this is bad. Like this is really, really bad. At this point, Yui should just be like building walls around that freaking thing. But uh, Yui's gonna move his MCB, I guess. He's gonna get out of there. He's piecing like a. I don't even know. I don't even. I don't even. What do you even do against the second MCV, you know? It's just like, what the hell? You have to have units to counter the MCV there. You have to. You have to have an army. And he did have an army, but it just wasn't in the right spot at the right time. Simple as that. Uh, I think Yubi's best option would have been to just push that if he knew it existed, which he didn't know it, it, ex it existed. Which is unfortunate, but you don't really count on this happening, you know, you just, you just don't, you just don't really think about that, uh, but Sinan's been able to have a nice economy throughout the match, but he hasn't really had any production structures, it's only been, uh, defensive, basically, so that's very good, apparently allies don't need, uh, two or three refineries when you have double MCB, you can just use both MCBs, it's just fine, it'll be just fine, Apple! And looks like he's gonna go for this little refinery that Yui had oh so sold the only build radius it had. And Yui is very desperate to get an economy going. And I think that's what's holding him back. Cause he thinks that somehow, some way he can win by having a mass economy. But you can see that C9 is not relying on the economic play. Not at all, actually. He's very much not relying on it. Even in the slightest. In fact, he was doing just fine with one refinery. Uh, oh, wow. You see that? He is... That was close. Look how much money he has left. Man, uh, if, if he didn't have enough money at that point, at this point, could be GG right there. You know, he would have to sell an MCV and then the match would turn to normal. Luckily, the economy was... He just had enough money to uh, make it. He could have sold the turret if he didn't have enough. Could have sold this thingy. He wouldn't have had a choice. He, it's not like he could have built the turret with no money. Uh, but, you know, uh, it would have been a bad spot. If he had to sell an MCP, he probably could have just sold it near a oil. Would have been okay. But uh, things are intense now as uh, the economy of both players are just kind of shot. Uh... But it looks like c is going to settle down a bit here, and he's not going to go continuously pushing around the map. I think he should keep pushing around, personally. Uh, but we see this. This is a nice move. Hurting the economy of Yui, as Yui did not see the deployed command hub. It took me a while to remember the name of it. it took me a while, but it was fine. Totally fine. Uh, both players still have their very first power plant. Still, still. Uh, this is not looking good. As a, if a person actually micros good enough, it's very unlikely for, the, for this MCV to survive. Uh, Yui doing a really nice job placing these walls around. Ah, ah, ah. Now see if C9 was clever, which he's not. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he could have just ran over that collector in there. But, <laughs> why? Why let your MCB get shot at by peacekeepers, you know? Why do that when you can just unpack and build stuff? And... Oh, wait, what's this? All you have to do is like, click here. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, this is close! Why did you. S you sold the. What? What? There was no point to that. Unless he were gonna, unless he was gonna build a turret to uh, destroy it. This MCV is toast. There is no way this MCV is gonna survive. No way. Just kill it. Kill it. 
Yeah! Bye bye, second MCV. Yui's in a nice spot here with two refineries. And, uh. N uh I would like to say that that. He had a turret ready? Or oh, no, that was a wall, wasn't it? If that was a turret, he could have easily placed it there. He should have used that. Used the cryo uh, blast on a, on a refinery. It's a t This is a tough position, mind you. And in a game like this, it's tough to think of the best and clearest decisions possible. And in a, in a setup like this, uh, where the opponent goes for a second MCV, it's kind of difficult to figure out what the hell are you going to do. Uh, but now the match is a bit more in a normal position. Uh, from my expert opinion, I think Yui should just build a freaking barracks. Uh, he's getting more expansions off, focusing on that economy. He has both oils, three refineries. Things are looking up for Yui. Uh, so I think uh, I think C9 is in the disadvantage here, for sure. And uh, turrets back online. Never sold that turret. Never sold it. It's in a it's in a okay position. Nobody's going to be taking that damaged garrison from him. <laughs> Nobody will. Uh, oh, there we go. There's the uh, barracks. At this point, I think Yui should be very infantry focused, and that's exactly what he's going to be doing. He's going to be trying to get out that infantry, which is very, very good. Very good idea. This is a very tough position for C9, because uh, his MCV is kind of out in the open here. A turret could come out at any time. But, uh, but it looks like Yui's in a, in a bad spot as he lost all of his infantry. All of them. Could sell the barracks, try to fill that up. Tar uh, target fire on the those important units. Nice, nice, nice. Now, uh, nice. He is focusing on, on, on the right targets. He's not letting the turret control itself. <laughs> and just as I say that, he does stop targeting. The best when you when you have this position here, select the turret, hold alt, click, 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 click. You'll never have to worry about auto-targeting the MCV. This very nice positioning. Uh, but that turret was a bit out of the way. Sold the wrong turret, but the turret would have been a bit slow. Uh, should be moving those javelins. Not. Oh, he really wants to kill the MCV. That might be a mistake. He's getting too desperate to kill the MCV. Uh, nice, nice. Uh, this is cool because it slows the shit out of the MCB. Nice barracks placement there. Froze his own turret. Yeah, that's... Yeah, you know, that's that, that's a fairly bad thing. I like how the engineer forced this to sell. I didn't see that. I didn't look at it, but I knew that's what happened. Looks like he took down the water structures with the dolphins. It looks like Yui has uh, Sinan's number here. He's giving him a wake-up call. Oh, yeah. Totally made a pun. Ah, uh, it's great. It's great. He's outnumbered, but still building one infantry at a time. Come on, Yui. Come on. Yeah, you're just sending them out to their deaths, man. They're just dying. This is nice. I like this. He's got a nice home little camp set up. Bear is perfectly placed. Very neat, very tidy. And, uh, MCV repaired. Not good to get desperate to kill an MCV. It is, that is a huge mistake that players always make. To get desperate to kill the MCV. And they, sometimes players will lose anything in order to kill it. Especially if they're playing as the faction, oh, so known as Japan. Breaking Japan, right? You know? Japan. Breaking Japan. MCV is almost dead. It doesn't matter. I'll suicide everything into it. And when they die, they'll still do damage afterwards. Freaky. Broken Japan. Oh, I'm so glad allies have OP. I'll get him. This freaking structure is toast. I didn't know that these guys outranged that. That's cool. It looks like he sold the naval yard. I don't think that was that good of an idea. How is Yui's economy? He has a fair bit of money coming Ready, in. Sir. This is Where's looking pretty good for Yui. Oh no! Oh, he can't Ready, escape. Sir. He Where's can't escape. That's it. That's that. That's uh. Ready, that's sir. game Where's right there. Trouble. You don't. That that was Ready, that was it. 
though, that was it. Unless C9 messes up Ready, sir. Ready, horrifically. That that was that was it. This is not. I like this. Very. Uh, this, a lot of this has been happening. Allied players out there, remember: always kill the collector. <laughs> Even if you can kill the refinery, you should probably kill the uh, allied collectors. Oh man, what was that? <laughs> Skype. Ah. <laughs> uh. What was that? I don't even know. That was obviously some sound effect from an MCV. Outnumbered vastly here, but he has the uh, javelins killing. Oh god! Oh no! They were massacred! No! Oh my god! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, please! Oh my god! Oh, I would never want to be a part of Yui's army. Ready, sir. Where's the trouble? Oh my god! You ever think about it? About what it would be like to be a part of an army in this game, like be like be a peacekeeper. That was your job. But there's a catch. There is a catch to being a part of the allied forces in this universe. Not just allied, every force. You can only listen to your commander, and you can only shoot things nearby you. Now, if a tank's going to run you over, you cannot move yourself out of the way unless the commander tells you to move. Crazy, right? <laughs> it's freaking crazy! Uh, wow. Yui got messed up. Without an MCV, he's probably wishing he didn't sell that naval yard. Come on, dolphins! Why can't you go on land? Where's your amphibious navy power now, allies? Oh, look, javelins versus peacekeepers. Great. <laughs> awesome. Freaking armor these days. And take rockets to the chest. And <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. It doesn't even matter. All right. Well, that ends that match. That match was really weird. Uh, uh, nice. Uh, it was very nice. Blind play by Pickle Killer, killing all those freaking pickles. I hate pickles too. Why is he green though? Hypocrite. Pickles are green. Pickles are green. Why you? Why do you play as green if you if you kill pickles? You know, irony, irony. What are you, Freddy Krueger? That guy liked to make puns when he killed. You haven't seen Nightmare on Elm Street series? I did. I really did, and I liked it. Anyways, that's not what this is about at all. Uh, that ends this. I uh, hope you had fun. I had fun. It was a great match. Look at this. Although he was in such a disadvantage, apparently his micro was like five billion times better than Yui's. Uh, but Yui made the right moves. He made the right moves, but in the end, he just messed up by freezing his own turret, building nine billion javelins against peacekeepers. There was, you know, whatever. And then he got his shit stuck all in between his MCV and his barracks. Ah, well, that's the way things go. In the world of competitive gaming, anything and anything can and will happen. That's why you can't count, can't count, can't count. Ah! I'm gonna just go after I actually correctly saying you can't count anybody out. I don't know why that was hard to say, but that was freaking hard to say. And I'm gonna go before I make any more mistakes with my small vocabulary. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Not really. Never see you again. Ban Japan! Ban them. Goodbye.